Good day, everyone. I want to thank you for taking time out of your today to join us as we go over Athene's Amplify Ryla. My name is Tim Watts, Annuity Sales Director with IMS. I'm joined by Zach Brown, Senior Business Development Wholesaler with Athene, and Dave Fields, Senior Vice President, Institutional Accounts with FMG. <clears throat> Before we jump into this fantastic product, I do have some important information to share about <clears throat> who we are at IMS and a quick highlight of why the agents that we work with love working with our team. We will have several polls during the webinar, and if you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to put them into the webinar questions, and we'll make sure that they are answered for you. The first thing that I do want to highlight today is our commitment to delivering best-in-class customer service for the agents. One of the ways that we do this is answering a, the phone with a live person every single weekday at 800-255-5055. So definitely do not hesitate to reach out to us. I'm going to just double check the questions here, make sure. Okay, it looks like we are, everything's viewing really good. So we'll go ahead and keep on going here. Our new producer builders are for those of you who are new to us over here at IAMS. So these bonuses are available based on your production level in your first 130 days of contracting with us. We have great levels that you can qualify at, and you can see inside each level are some great options for you. There's going to be business building tools, personal perks, and even cash rewards. And if you'd like to know where you're, you stand towards your new producer bonus, um, or if you'd like to have a conversation about how to achieve that next level, please give us a call and talk to your sales director. Another business builder program we provide for our agents is our referred producer program. I see a couple of advisors on with us today that have taken advantage of this program. Our business on the wholesale side of the industry is similar to yours in the field in that one of the best leads we could ever obtain is a referral from one of our valued producers. This is why we want to make it worth your while to refer a producer to us. That being said, when you refer a producer to us and they get contracted, we will cut you a $50 thank you check. Where the real money comes in is as your referral rights business, you're going to receive an override on that business. Our ownership team, Charles, Steve, Curtis, and Chris, sign checks for thousands of dollars every quarter. With that being said, if you can think of anyone that could benefit from doing business with our team, please type their information into the questions box, or you can email me directly at timw at imesinc.com with that information, and I will reach out to them that day. Below that is our marketing reimbursement program, which is our most popular program that we offer. For every 100000 in FIA premium, you're going to get $100 into your marketing reimbursement account. Why this is so popular and lucrative for advisors is that we truly do consider this to be your money. You have the flexibility on what services, when you're going to spend them, and who you use these funds with. It's truly your marketing reimbursement. We don't tell you the vendors that you have to use. We do have recommended vendors that we've partnered with and leveraged reduced rates and preferred service. We also have our in-house creative team that can create a uh, marketing strategy and provide in-house services. If you'd like to know how much is in your marketing reimbursement account or have a conversation about how to utilize it to maximize your revenues, please give one of your life or annuity sales directors a call here at the office. Back office support. This is another way that we're going to add value to you and your business. This is a core of IAMS and how Charles Hearing founded us 36 years ago. We want to help the independent advisor work harder. I mean, work smarter, not harder. We are going to do that with great business building tools and resources. Of course, advanced case design assistance for life and annuity quotes is an area that we assist with. We're going to get you those illustrations that you request within 24 hours, but honestly, that typically will get to you within about an hour or two. Submission to commission support is handled by our new business teams. McKinsey heads up the annuity team and Michelle heads up the life side. They have fantastic teams who work tirelessly to help you get commissioned quicker. They're going to scrub your apps, submit them on your behalf, assist with that administrative tracking, and get you updates on the cases as needed. We do this to ensure that you get commissioned <clears throat> as quickly as possible. This is a service that we provide to our valued producers and how we help you grow your business by keeping you in front of clients while our team handles the back office support for you. Our website is a great tool for our producers to use and another reason to work with us over here at IMS. Once you're contracted with us, you can have full access to everything that you see on this slide and so much more at imsinc.com. If you haven't registered for the website, it's very simple to do. 
when we get done with this call, go ahead and create an account. We'd love to see you on there. A lot of great resources are going to be in, available for you, including illustration tools, online forms, product grids, and product news, industry updates as well. Firelight eApps, this is a single sign-on at imsinc.com. Technology is where the industry is going, and Firelight is a top-notch site streamlining the application process. Most of our carriers are on the eApp platform, so you can go onto one site and submit business. It's COVID-friendly, and some carriers are going to eApp only for certain, uh, uh, certain product lines that they offer and or will offer additional commissions by utilizing the eApp platform. Making sure, make sure you ask your sales director before you submit a paper app if you can earn more by doing eApp. Additionally, those processing times from almost every carrier are going to be faster on the eApp, so it's advantageous for you and your client as well. Utilizing our Firelight platform accelerates the application process substantially. The app platform helps you submit business in good order the first time. This also reduces the processing time of your business and gets you paid quicker. As I mentioned previously, this is a single sign-on at imsinc.com. We've integrated our business with Firelight plus several other e-app providers so that you can have the most efficient and effective way to submit business. We do have a full in-house creative team that can help you and your practice with a lot of items. <clears throat> Many of our sales resources are white-labeled, so we can simply impose your contact information and your business logos onto it. Speaking of logos, Agency Solutions is an area of expertise for our team. If you haven't created a full customized brand for you and your agency, we certainly can help. This is going to assist you with your name recognition, which grows your natural market organically. Lastly, Digital Marketing Solutions is a very popular topic around IMS. We can help you with websites, social media marketing campaigns, email marketing, and a lot more. The internet and social media sites are where the overwhelming majority of the prospects go to for information. Making sure that you're accessible and represented in those marketing lanes is going to be beneficial to growing your business. Reach out to myself or one of our sales directors when this webinar concludes to talk to them about how you can access IAM's creative <clears throat> team and get those solutions for you and your agency. Just a couple more Slides here before I turn it over to Dave and Zach for their presentation. We did find found IMS Wealth over six years ago. Now, what we've done is grow this division of IMS very organically. We've helped advisors become IARs and pass the Series 65 at a very successful clip. Once we have you registered, we'll bring great value to you and your practice. Real quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and pop out this first poll here. So go ahead and grab that mouse, and that is is AUM part of your business. So with an incredibly competitive fee structure for both you and your clientele, we do have a great technology and a great investment platform. This has been a major growth sector of our business, and assets under management could be a major growth sector for you as well. I'm going to leave that poll up here for just a couple more seconds. We're right at 50% of uh, folks voting. If we can get that over 75, I'd love that uh, participation from the group here. So just a couple more seconds. Is AUM part of your business? Thank you, everybody who voted. Appreciate that. We'll be hosting our first academy this May 15th through the 17th. This is going to be in Des Moines, Iowa. Now, I actually have another poll here for you, so go ahead and keep those mice close. So with this academy, this is going to be a two-day training um, and they are excellent opportunities for our agents who are looking for new ways to grow your business. IMS does cover all of the expenses for the academy. We partner with great carriers just like Athene. Zach and I got to attend a academy last year, and let me tell you, it was not only a blast, but it was a very good value add for all 35 agents that we had. We're going to be going over marketing strategies uh, that uh, they've used to get from the bottom to the top with those top producers that we bring in. It also gives you a chance to speak with your peers in the industry and get all <clears throat> from all over the country. I do highly recommend that you uh, register. We will be getting uh, a registration link confirmed out this week and be able to send to all of those folks who said yes, they'd like some information on that, which was over 75%, so fantastic there. All right, last slide here before I turn it over to Dave and Zach. We do have a great Wentworth by the Sea trip that we are currently in qualification for. Now, this is 
3 million in the theme production from J uh, July 1st of 2023 to June 30th of 2024. Plenty of time still to qualify for that trip, and we would love to see you out there. We do have our Kiowa Islands trip that uh, is getting ready to go down this April, and we do have 75 agents who are going to be joining us for that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the uh, presenter over to Zach and Dave. Dave, the uh, floor is yours, sir. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Tim. Appreciate that. And I really appreciate the privilege of being able to uh, uh, be a panelist here on the this uh, IAMS uh, call. Just a real quick overview on FMG, a surname financial marketing group. Uh, we've been in the uh, third party distribution business for about 30 years, specifically primarily on the registered product side uh, with a strong uh, variable annuity background. And uh, with that background, you could probably understand why uh, a firm like ours was so excited as the RILO or the Registered Index Linked Annuity uh, product came onto the scene. Uh, the industry really has changed over the last 15, 20 years. Uh, we, we, we've been hearing constantly, uh, if not on a monthly or daily basis, about the importance of a fee transparency, and of course, we've all heard the, the commentary from the different pundits uh, demonizing different types of product lines. And more often than not, the conversation usually revolved around the fee structures on certain packaged products like variable annuities. And then this concept of the registered index linked annuity has started to really come to the fore. Uh, why was it so good? Well, uh, look at some of the numbers. Just uh, past year sales, were $13 billion in the fourth quarter, just the fourth quarter. That's up 29% from the fourth quarter of the previous year. Uh, now, that, this is significant. That marked the first time uh, that Ryla product sales had surpassed traditional variable annuity sales. Total Ryla sales last year reached $47.4 billion in 2023. That's 15% higher than the prior year and a new all-time high for the product line sales. Well, what's the big deal? What, why this explosion? Why this interest? Well, simply stated, they designed the product to accommodate what clients were actually looking for, not necessarily a Swiss Army knife approach to long-term investing. They wanted growth, and they wanted to do it in the most cost-effective uh, manner possible. So they wanted to participate in real upside, not a handout of upside growth potential, real upside growth potential. They wanted a measure of protection to the downside, just something that gave them a, a, a measure of protective covenants around the assets that they had invested, and they wanted to pay as little as possible. Well, that's essentially what the Ryla market did. It gives uh, uh, individual investors an opportunity to truly participate in the upside of the equity markets, while at the same time providing with a level of downside protection, usually uh, 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 through some type of buffer strategy where 10, 15, or upwards of 20% of the first downside uh, of any loss would be absorbed by the company. And in exchange for that, the clients would also not have to pay any implied uh, fees no m e no fund level expenses and so if you if you come from a variable annuity space and you understand how a lot of those products were priced you can already see why these would be so attractive i like to refer to them i i, I almost don't want to use the the fellas name but these types of products are annuities that even ken fisher would sell or recommend to his client because they gave them something that they could not get on their own well, where would you look in your existing book of business uh, for a client that might benefit from the concept or the or, or what a RILA has to offer? Well, uh, one particular market would be nervous investors. If you've got clients that were invested in the market in 2008, they've got short memories. There's a lot of fear of missing out that's out there, but a lot of people, they're 10, 15, 20 years older than they were before. What does that mean? Well, they don't have 10, 15, 20 years of investment time horizon in front of them to recover from a loss. So they need some type of protection to the downside so that they can stay the course through the schedule that you, the advisor, have put together for them. Folks that want to buy into the dip, 
if we do see a pullback, there are a lot of geopolitical risks that are out there right now. This is actually a smarter way of buying to the dip. Market sells off by 20%. Let's say you give them a strategy that's got a 20% buffer on top of it. You've effectively provided them with a 40% cushion to the downside. A smarter way of buying into the dip. Another market could be, as we already mentioned, replacing expensive variable annuity contracts. The average all-in cost for a typical VA that's on the books is north of 3.5%, just shy of 4%. In this day and age, as fee conscious as the industry has become, those types of fees are tantamount to a fee-only Me Too movement, if you will. So that's the beauty of the Riley industry. Clients who want to benefit from a level of downside protection replace expensive old contracts, or reposition a portion of equity assets. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've got a client and they own, let's say some passive index ETFs, say tracking the S&P, tracking the Russell, tracking the MISI, that's great. They still have a 100% guarantee of nothing. Here, you can give the clients an opportunity to participate in the same growth of those indices but at the same time, providing with a level of protection and buffer protection to the downside. I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm not going to, because what I'd like to do is now turn it over to Zach Brown with Athene, as Zach talks about some of the ideas and the concepts that Athene has put together to really make their Amplify 2.0 series stand out. Zach, I'll turn it over to you. Hey, thank you very much. Um, and it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. And, you know, like we were speaking on, Rila really is the, uh, you know, kind of the, the, the hot market right now, even here in Athene. Um, so we're really excited about it. <clears throat> we're, um, you know, with everything that we just touched on, it just really is a nice little market share that we can get into. And I think from you and a client, like we were stating, as they get older to retirement, you know, this is a great solution to put them in to help protect them from some of them downside risks. So without further ado, let me get in to our registered index linked annuity and the Arathene Amplify 2.0 series. So today I will be going over, um, here we go, I wasn't going there for a little while, really the state of the markets, um, you know, why it's a good time, what's going on there. Then I'm going to introduce our Amplify product talk a little bit about, I ran some of our Amplify performances in the past and also show some of the sales and marketing resources that we have for you all to utilize um, when you're getting into this Amplify product um, to make it easier for you and your clients. Um, and then lastly, just next steps, if you guys are interested, uh, just has a little bit more information on each product and who to call, when to call, and also I always wanna um, you know talk about IMS as well. You know, I know Tim talked about doing the, uh, you know, our our training coming up here so, or shortly. I want to say it's in May, and I really do hope to see uh, some of you guys there. It is a good time, a lot of, uh, not just fun, but you really do get a lot of, to learn a lot of, a lot of stuff out of it. It's, it's always one of my favorite ones of the year. All right, so let's jump in here. So, you know, this is a nice, heavy overlook of just over the years, um, kind of, you know, the state of the markets, right? I'm sure we're all aware of it. You know, over the years, you can tell it's seen quite a bit of its share of ups and downs, right? So even though it has grown consistently over the long term, you know, what can happen? Well, any significant negative return can take a toll on your client's savings. So, you know, like we were talking about earlier, especially the closer they get to retirement. So when you're looking at this graph here, you know, you can see all the really the significant market drops, you know, they're there in blue. So you had the dot-com bubble, bubble burst that dropped it from 49%. Then who can't remember, you know, who can't forget about the financial crisis in a, you know, 07, 08 area or the 08 area. I mean, it just dropped 57%. And then, of course, our most recent one, uh, 2019, you know, the COVID-19 pan pandemic. So as you can see, it's had some great, increases, but also had some, uh, some pretty nice decreases in there as well. So as we're all aware, the recovery needed to break even after a market drop, of course, is always greater than the actual drop itself. So in other words, 
the bigger the drop, guess what? The more market, uh, the more the market will need to rally for your clients to recoup their losses. So when I'm looking at this graph, what I wanted to point out was, you know, showing the, the market loss in blue. And then I'm showing in green there is showing what they would have to return to break even. And then in the yellow would show, you know, just assuming that they're taking out 4% annual withdrawal, let's just assume that maybe it's an RMB or something like that and they're taking money out. Well, now that's assuming that they're taking a 4% annual withdrawal, what the return is gonna be needed to break even. So if you're just looking at a small 10% loss right out here, you're gonna need at least 11, but around 15% if they're taking that withdrawal. Of course, as we go down and it drops 20%, well, guess what? Now, market's going to return 25% or around 30% if they're with that draw and so on. So it really just highlights that, you know, of course, the more the market drops, the more the market's going to have to rally to get your client back up to recoup those losses. And of course, the closer a client gets to retirement, of course, the more important it becomes to protect what they've earned. And this is where our Amplify 2.0 comes into. So our Amplify, uh, you know, where does our Amplify fit in along the risk spectrum? Uh, this is always just something nice to see when you do it, when you are meeting with your client and you are gauging that risk tolerance that they have, right? Well, if you're looking at the spectrum here, it really it falls between the moderate and moderately aggressive profiles. Now, as you know, other financial investments such as fixed income are viewed to be conservative, but when they're that conservative, they really provide a limited amount of growth. And of course, on the other side, equities give your clients full exposure, but they are viewed to be aggressive because of course, there is no downside protection on these, right? When you're in those. Well, Amplify 2.0 can give investors the best of both worlds. So it offers clients the opportunity to pursue index-like returns along with a level of protection from any market risk. So this is a question I always, you know, think it'd be good for a client profile. Um, you know, if you want to ask, you know, is this right for your client? You know, right here it says, are they cautious when making financial purchases? I'm sorry, but you know, is okay accepting with some of the potential losses? And are they wanting a product that allows them to diversify their portfolio and looking for protection from high fees? And of course, some of that protection with those buffers for the market returns. So this may be ideal for clients seeking those higher returns in any volatile markets, which as we can see and know has been going on for quite a while, right? So we have two options here. We have our no fee and we have a fee version. Um, you know, it's really is a dynamic annuity solution that helps manage portfolio costs because in the no fee, of course, there is no segment fee. You know, we also have the potential to accumulate a little bit more through the higher rates, which is a 95 bip charge to an annual segment fee. And both products are very competitive when it comes to performance and we follow a six year withdrawal charge schedule. So here's a, uh, two things when you're looking at picking your amp, whenever you choose your Amplify 2.0, here are the three choices your client has when they're looking. <clears throat> so they're gonna look in your, you know, when, whenever they are adding this to their retirement portfolio, you know, like we always know, there'll be a wide variety of options to choose from, but we also purposely designed it to provide your client the flexibility to create a plan that fits their individual situation. So, you know, right, right on the choice number one, do you want pick your uh, level of protection or buffer that we call it? Do you want a 10% or a 20%? Then choose your in your choose a term period, one year, two year, or six year. And then we have five, uh, sorry, we have, yeah, we have five index options here. So we have five equity market options along with two uh, exclusive that are just exclusive to us here at Athene that they can choose from. So what are buffers, right? Buffers are the most common form of protection that Rylus provide. All of our Amplify strategies come with a level of buffer protection. So again, it really determines their risk tolerance. 
Clients can choose between 20% or a 10% layer protection. This buffer protects the client against any drop in the underlying index up to that buffer amount. So really what, you know, what we're trying to do here is finding that right balance between risk and reward starts by selecting that buffer amount. So as you know, the less the buffer, uh, you know, it's going to provide you a lower level of protection, but it's also going to have the client have a greater potential for higher returns. So that's just always something to think about when you're looking in it. Um, this next slide is a real neat one that I, I really enjoy. It just really shows the power of the six-year average historical returns on the S&P 500. So really what this is showing you is if you look over the last 40 years, these are the average historical returns from the S&P 500, which in our industry, you know, is really is regarded as the best single gauge for large cap US equities. So if you're looking over here, if you look over there to the right, it says, um, you know, this, where did it, sorry, I wanna move one thing. I think it's stuck on there, sorry. Um, but it's talking about how right here on the right, it says the largest six year loss was 18.38%. So, and that was in 2003 to 2009. So I always say plan, uh, you know, plan for growth here. You know, we do have a 20% protection buffer, but as you can see, a lot of the times it hadn't hit. So maybe it is a good time to hop in to a 10% buffer. But of course, if you're wanting a little bit more of that downside protection, by all means, you'll have the 20% buffer available. And any of these 10% and 20% buffer levels can be over a six year period. And then we have the next thing here is just talking about the crediting term periods. Remember when we were talking about your first selection is what are we gonna choose on the buffer? Then the next one, we're gonna talk about uh, the crediting terms here. So we do have segment options that come with the choice between one, two, and six year term periods. Of course, longer the term will offer higher rates. Shorter terms offer more regular credits and you know the the shorter terms may be also better to manage market fluctuations because the protection resets more frequently. The protection resets multiple times during a six year surrender charge period. As a result of the higher protection, sometimes those rates will not be as high. And now let's talk about the index options that we have. And there is a lot of variety in here when you're looking at these, right? So first off, we offer the five different indices. We here at Athene, we decided to stick with all equity options. Reason being, equity strategies, you know, pair best with buffers and the indices that we offer are extremely liquid so that we can offer them with minimal frictional costs. So right off the bat, our Amplify 2.0 offers the S&P 500 the Russell 200, the MSCI, um, and these give you coverage to large cap, small cap, and also international equities. But one thing that we've been excited to also add to this was um, to add the NASDAQ in the mix, right? Pairing the growth stocks of the NASDAQ, which give you a level of better protection, uh, or sorry, level of buffer protection, will be a great solution for many of your clients. And we're also really proud and, you know, to be honest, we're pretty, we're frankly privileged to be able to offer a new custom index developed with Professor Robert Schiller, and that is the Schiller Barclays Index. And finally, the final two index options here are the ones that are exclusive to Athene. They are a proprietary uh, index this year, these options that you have, and they are the Performance Blend and Milestone Lock. So, what these are, I'll get into these a little bit more later, but both strategies were developed with retirees in mind and complement the other strategy options in the product. So again, like I said, I'll be going into those two in more detail over the coming slides. All right, but let's go ahead and dive in a little bit deeper on the uh, Schiller Barclays CAPE Index, which uh, you know this index does utilize Professor Schiller's CAPE ratio, 
to identify undervalued equity sectors. So for those not familiar with the professor's work, excuse me there, um, you can find out more on Barclay's website, but I can tell you that Professor Schiller did an extraordinary amount of research in developing this index. Reason being, he wanted to build a product uh, that performed for regular investors. And also note, this is the only index we offer that includes dividends and the performance of the index. So historically, dividends have made up about a third of the total return on US stock markets. So including them, you know, may be a big deal, particularly if stock prices do not continue uh, the extraordinary momentum that we've experienced in the last few years. All right, and here is our performance blend. So what is the performance blend? It is all about helping customers get, uh, you know, use diversification to their advantage. This strategy uses the S&P 500, the MCSI, and the Russell 2000. And as you can see, over a six-year period, it's probably going to be pretty difficult, um, you know, really to pick which one of these indices will be the top performer. So what this does, this strategy will determine the credit based on the weighted average of the three indices and give your client greater exposure to the best performing index. So, you know, at, you know as we know, all returns of the indices, the client's purchase payment will be weighted by 50% of the best performing, 30% of the second best, and 20% of the lowest performer. And the cap, participation rate, and buffer are all then applied to this weighted average on return. So the op this option really leverages the end of term performance of the three major indices and which segment option, uh, which one was selected. So when you're looking at these right now, this is showing you pretty much the average of how they fall. So the S&P 500, 41% of the time, have, of course, had the highest return. The Russell, around 39%, and then the MCSI, you know, around 20%. So on average, that's usually how they're weighted. So in this instance, we had put 50% in the S&P 500 of the return, since that was the best performing index. 30% would then get credit to the Russell, and then the final 20 in the MCSI. And this is a really, I really enjoy this, uh, this feature right here because, um, you know, it's called our milestone lock. And it's a six-year strategy that will automatically lock in gains midterm and then reset protection when those milestones are hit. So all of this is automatic. We're not going to ask the client uh, to try to time the market or you to try to help them time the market. Um, you know, unlike the manual lock featured by some of our competitors, all rates are known. So you do not have to worry about renewal rates either. So here is a great example of how this milestone lock works. So as you can see, the milestone threshold is 25%. At the end of each year, the strategy checks to see if a new milestone has been set. So pretty much it's gonna ask, has the index gone up by 25% or more from the last milestone? If so, guess what? We're gonna lock those gains in and then the buffer is gonna reset. Finally, at the end of the six year term period, we aggregate the performance from all of the milestones that occurred throughout the term. So in this case, we're looking at, you know, your client would get a positive performance from the first two years when the first milestone was hit, right? You show it gained 30.5%. Then your client would get a positive performance from years two to five when the second milestone occurred, which as you can see up here was a 37.1%. And then if you're looking right here, you know, of course on the sixth year, well, guess what? It drops a little. Well, um, now, that, now that there's the buffer protecting them from a portion of that loss. So since we automatically lock them in, your client has the 43.2% segment <laughs> credit applied at the end of year six. I always like to bring these up because again, we automatically locked them into this. If you had to do a manual lock, they could have missed out on some of those, you know, or, you know, could have been up through that final year and then the, uh, it drops X amount of time. Then since you didn't lock any of those down, then your client's not gonna have near as much as return. So the total performance, performance would have reverted all the way back to where they were at the end of year two had they not done the 
the milestone lock in this instance. So we like to say the milestone lock gives your client the best features of a longer term strategies without sacrificing the protection of shorter term strategies. And these are just, you know, I wanted to hit on our rates. Uh, you know, we keep keep the product simple and to highlight a great value of, propos of, of our propositioning. So here are our one year rates for both our Amplify 2.0 no fee and Amplify 2.0. And here is our two year declared rates for both products as well. Just quick little overview of them for you guys. And then uh, this is our six year declared rates for both uh, for both products here. And I want to get into just some of our amplified performance as well that just shows, you know, just a real easy way of a hypothetical scenario. And again, we're not doing any of the performance blends, not doing any of those milestone locks. We are just straight up, you know, in this scenario right here, we put $100,000 in as the 95 bips of the annual segment fee. We did the 10% protection, did a one year term. And we decided to, lock, to choose the S&P 500 with 100% participation rate. Well, as you can see, you know, when you're looking at this, you know, year one, return 8%, so you're getting eight. Year uh, two, it's at 15%, so they got 15. And then year three, well, looky there, there is a little bit of a dip. Well, guess what? Since we had that buffer, client didn't feel it at all. The next year, all that upside, right? It hit 22%. And then in year five, it's at 13. And then of course, right here in year six, it did drop 12%. But since we had that 10% buffer, now your client's only getting a 2% loss right there. So in this example, if they use the one year term periods and $100,000 off the S&P, they gained almost $60,000 in one year, a little over 58,000. Same scenario. But now what we're gonna use is the six year hypothetical scenario. So this one, same situation, right? We're putting 100,000 in as a 95 bit uh, annual segment fee, doing a 10% buffer rate, but this time we're doing a six year term and we have 145% participation rate. So as you can see right here, we're getting, you know, again, remember it's six years. So now we're gonna go down Look at what the index performance was. Well, now your client with the 145% uh, participation rate here after the six years is gonna have a average return of 123.03%, which grows your client from $100,000 original investment. And the reason it's dropping a little here in each other year is because remember there is that small uh, 95 bips uh, segment fee. But even with those taken out, in the higher participation rate, your client's money goes from 100,000 to 210,000 and a little bit extra change from this six year buffer, or sorry, six year RILA with a 10% buffer rate. And, you know, we want to make it easy for you when you are talking to your client about Amplify. So, you know, I like to share with you some of our sales and marketing resource that you can have at your disposal. Um, you know, we do have a digital first approach at a scene is taking and providing these resources. As we know, you know, times, they are changing fast, which is why telling the Amplify 2.0 story uh, has to start with an effective online presence, which is what we built for you and the client. So we've created strictly an Amplify 2.0 website, which you can use and leverage with your clients. As you can see right here, it's gonna have your you know, I'm gonna get in these a little bit more, but it's gonna have your, uh, some engaging videos for you. Performance calculator out there that'll show, show that. And then it's gonna have current rates. And of course, we're gonna have a downloadable content for you as well. And the URL is right here. It's just athene.com slash Amplify2. But here's just a quick overview of our digital first approach, uh, which we produce three. And again, these are consumer friendly videos. So you can utilize these anytime your client can get out there and look at them. What it's gonna do is pretty much go over everything what, that I did uh, with someone that's a little bit better looking than I am. <laughs> but, um, you know, so probably maybe it'll be easier to watch, but you get the product overview, the performance blend and the milestone lock. 
And then this is a performance calculator. You can run out there and you can create hypothetical scenarios and see how the product may have performed in any different environment, right? You get your most recent, the best, worst, custom, you can really do with it as you please. And we do a print to PDF, which is enabled too. But of course, always wanna give you the additional, uh, additional information if you're needing this. We have brochures available that I can, we can get over to you. We have case studies out there. We have presentations, which this one right here that I put together for you all can be shared. It is all client approved. Um, so we also have our performance reports. And again, just those other sales collateral, just some FAQs, maybe a client kit, or you just want the current rate sheet. You know, and then lastly, just, you know, I just wanted to wrap up a few things, you know, just a quick snapshot of the product. A little bit of stuff I haven't been able to get into, just talks about minimum payment, maximum uh, purchase payment, which can go above a million, please note that. Um, and then talks about the ages you can get into. And then, you know, these do come with your terminal illness waiver as a confinement waiver. So if the client does get confined, guess what? They're gonna have access to their money. Terminal waiver, same thing, you know, we have all those on them, but, um, but then it just goes into our performance lock and a little bit more of our death benefit. But, you know, with that being said, in conclusion, I can tell you everyone here at Athene is very proud of this product. You know, Rylas in general can be a fantastic product for people saving for retirement. And again, why? Because they offer that tax deferred growth with equity like returns and you get real exposure. I'm sorry, you get real protection with no exposure to bonds. And we deliver a product with the right amount of choices innovations that add value and great rates and all of this is packaged around again like i talked about earlier that'll make it easier for you a digital first marketing approach to help expand your reach out there so if you are interested interested in these and i hope you are just wanted to again just give you guys a quick overview of what the reg ed product code is uh, you can hop out there and complete any of these on reged.com using the code amplify underscore two underscore two zero two one and again to learn more feel free to give us a call uh, at athene sales desk 188 annuity that's 188-266-8489 or as i mentioned earlier you got tim and, and imes everyone there that will be able to help you out too i know i've worked with a lot of imos in my time and i can tell you they are one that will pick up the phone no matter what. I don't think I've ever got a voice message in my life. But um, <laughs> but anyway, I wanna say thank you so much for your time and I look forward to helping you guys do more in 2024. Awesome, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Zach. I do have a couple questions here and we have a few more minutes left. So if anybody out there um, does have a question that you want to uh, send over to us, Definitely now is the time. So while you're doing that, I've got a poll that I wanted to launch there. And that is, would you like some more information on Athene's Amplify 2.0 series? So while you're <clears throat> answering my question, I've got a couple questions that hopefully Zach and Dave can answer. The first one here is, let's say we've got uh, some agents out here that have just been selling those, you know, life insurance, traditional fixed index annuities, fixed annuities. What additional training or certifications would they need to uh, be able to sell this Amplify 2.0? Well, this is a registered product, yeah. so they would either need a 6 and 63 or a 7 and 63 uh, to be able to sell the product through their broker dealer. Correct. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Next one is, is we did talk about Firelight the utilizing e-apps there on uh, Firelight. Is this product available on Firelight or is it an, a paper app only? Nope. We are Firelight. If we was um, up to us, it would be, I mean, we put everything out there on the Firelight platform. So, so yep, it is. We're, we're all about e-apps. Right on, right on. I got a last um poll for you when i've got one more question and i think uh, then we'll be wrapped up here for the day so the poll question is did you use any paid marketing strategies in 2023 so would love your participation there i uh, did have some great participation throughout the uh <clears throat> the webinar last question gentlemen get asked a lot right now for uh you know clients that are looking for better 
uh, rates of return with these high, high caps and pars. Obviously, this product offers even more than some of the traditional FIAs out there. What is the um, replacement uh, criteria for, for this? Are we able to absorb any uh, surrender fees if we can get the clients into some potentially better uh, positions, or is this a, a straight um, have to just transfer over with other surrender fees? Uh, well, as far as I understand, the theme product and most of the Rylas out there, they are primarily growth-oriented products. Uh, so uh, no, no front-end premium bonuses or anything like that that can absorb costs. However, uh, if the clients do a side-by-side -side analysis with their advisor, uh, it's not too difficult to see the recovery period, the potential uh, recovery period. Uh, after they say goodbye to perhaps something that's not performing very well into something that's giving them more growth without having to add additional cost to the overall portfolio. Awesome, yep. awesome. Well, gentlemen, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Dak. No, I was going to say uh, that I was just going to echo Dave's comments on that too. Absolutely, it is all performance driven. There isn't really necessarily, you know, on some of our products that do have some large bonuses to offset it. Um, you know, that isn't that case, but again, I've always, you know, you're dealing with managed money, which I'm sure most of some of you are, I've always just told certain people, um, also just look into some of that managed money sometimes, because like we were talking about, a lot of these people are getting closer to retirement. So just look at some of that money and just piece some over to kind of show what this, uh, Rila product can do for you guys. But other than that, if it is a suitability standpoint here to theme, the max loss we can take is 2%. So if it is a 2% loss, you'll be okay. Yep. And right on, also thank you. Uh, Tim and Zach, you, you know, for advisors that are familiar with FIAs, you're also familiar with the unfortunate, not not frequent, but frequent enough that it is an issue, awkward conversations around renewal time. You know, some <laughs> yep. companies, uh, they're not always, they, you know, integrity, unfortunately, is not always front and center when it comes to renewal rates. What's nice about many of these RILA strategies is that your par rates are guaranteed for the entire term. So you don't have to do growth guessing. You can actually do growth planning because you know what's coming to you. Awesome. Did have one other question here from the group, and uh, I don't. I, is, that is, can you sell this with the Series 66? Not this product. I'm, not this one. No. You. Let's. Yeah. This is a red shirt, so six or seven, right? I know. I was trying to go back in right. and get them confirmed on it. Yep. So six or seven. Six or seven, okay. Well, Dave, um, any last uh, last minute thoughts here? Anything additional to add? No, Zach, just any a, other comments, gentlemen? Yeah, just appreciate the partnership, and um, uh, we're looking forward to helping everybody. You know, if you want to schedule some time and mine through, I you know I don't mind spending some time. We can go through and mine the book, my, uh, mine your book of business, and see where uh, where. Uh, uh, Athene uh, might be a good fit, or this particular product might be a good fit for some of your clients. And uh, or if you like to do seminar activity, you know I'm not averse. I've got a budget. I don't mind spending some time getting together, putting some cheeks in the seat, and uh, having some conversation with some folks uh, that might be inclined to benefit from a concept like this. Yeah, and I just awesome. want to say thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me, uh, you know, speak on our 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 Amplify product. Thanks for the partnership. And just to kind of hit off what Dave said, yeah, give give us any of us a call. Uh, happy to go through whatever you guys need to look into it to help your client find that solution that would fit them. And I really do think these Rylas are going to fit a lot of those those areas. And and lastly, I'll just plug that another I'm, you know, that that I'm Summit that we have coming up here. The, uh, uh, what is it that, what do we call it? The I'm's Academy. Yep. So if you, any of you guys are interested mm -hmm. in coming here, I'd love to meet y'all. We will be here. I want to say it's May 15th or something like that. So looking forward to it. If you guys are able to make it. You hit the nail on the head, May 15th through the 17th. Uh, we'll definitely get some uh, information out to everybody who registered for this event. Gentlemen, I really appreciate it. Zach Dave, it's been a phenomenal webinar. Everyone who attended, I thank you. Everybody have a great day. Bye now.